Success and failure is nothing more than decisions. Because really and truly the only difference between us is God gave us a three pound brain up here between our ears and it's how you program. It's not how tall or how old or how young or how educated or what your skin color is or who your parents happen to be or which country you live in. It's how you employ the powers that you already have available for your use by making the right decisions, by going in the right direction with the power and authority that you have in life. The foundation of all success is failure. You show me someone that doesn't do their best and even learn from their failures and I show you a guy that'll never succeed. And too many people play life so safe, they won't take an opportunity or chance. They let those little decisions be wrong rather than right ones by not doing the right thing based on who you are and where you are and what you're doing. Because see, if you don't start at the bottom of the rung, how in the world can you climb the ladder? That's why most so many college graduates fail today because they try to start in the middle of the ladder and never go down to the bottom and start and learn the basics about it. In the Amway business, thank God, you start with one kit at the very bottom of the bottom of the bottom of the ladder. And if you climb, it's going to be because you've got the guts, the dreams, the desire, and the ambition. And no one can steal your cotton pick and dream because it's real for you. Because if you succeed, which is your choice, you're going to have to go through a whole bunch of dream stealers. A whole bunch of people. They try to minimize you and criticize your enterprise. Do anything to steal your dream from you, to make you feel silly because you're not one of them. And that's the way you know you're succeeding. Because let me tell you what a successful person is, best I know. Somebody that's bigger than the problems of life that they have to go through. Because everybody in here could write a book that's negative about all the negative things that you could dwell on in your life. And it's not over yet, but I'm guarantee you that book can get bigger if you let it. But you've got to be bigger than the biggest negative that you'll ever run into in your life and win anyway. Amen? Now, if someone ever told me, he said, Britt, you need to go back and be a city manager. You're wrong in this business. I say, no, I'm right in this business. Why? Because I am competing as a capitalist in the free enterprise system, which is the economic system of the United States of America and basically Canada too. And I'm proud to be in it and no one can steal my dream. It's not up there for someone to steal my dream. But you see, you've got to make the right decisions. The little decisions are big ones. Freedom is empowerment. Empowerment to take on the responsibility that you have. Now, if you want a job, be my guest. If you want to be free, be my guest. We're here because we believe you want to be free. We believe you want to own your own business and be competitive in life and get excited about life and have a lot of hope. And do you think you can find six people somewhere that would need and desire a better way of life? I always believe I could find six. Do you believe you can find six? They're out there. You need to speak it in, you need to speak it before it ends. I'd find six. I know I'd find six. I'm snared by the word, hung by the tongue. I will find six. I will be free. I will pay the price of freedom. I will not be denied. And if somebody don't like it, take a cotton pick and fly and leave. Amen? I don't have to ask somebody if I can succeed. If you're going to win, you don't win and then act like a winner. You act like a winner and then win. Amen? You talk boldly, think boldly, believe boldly, go to the bathroom boldly, eat boldly, everything boldly. I will make it. You don't like it? Get a job. Somebody don't like it? Hide in the bushes and watch. I've got a right and I've got a responsibility to be free and to live a free life. But coming alive, saying, I will take responsibility. I will not be denied. I will own my own business. I will pay my bills. I will take care of my family. And I will not be denied. Nobody can steal my dream. Because there's a lot of dream stealers out there. I want you to dream big dreams, have big visions, and see things not as they are, but as they could be and will be, 
and ought to be. Amen? You realize if the world did what we do, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, do you realize what a different world this would be? And how we're going to get freedom back and take our country back is one person and then one couple or one person at a time. Amen? You and I have to take on our responsibility. And if we're going to kick butt, the first butt we've got to kick is our own. Amen? Now, can you say, I believe? I really do believe. I really am excited. Because I have hope for the future. We can honestly tell you we love you. And we want you to be successful. We want you to have the this joy of the success that's rightfully due. But we should not to be denied. Amen? We want you to have the joy of overcoming your problems, overcoming the negative, and getting into the into the positive. By speaking what isn't as if it were. I can do that. I will do that. That's a done deal. It's a right thing to do. It's a right decision to make. I will not be denied. I do have a dream. I am a visionary. I will not be denied. I am snared by the word. I speak what is as if it were. I don't say what I don't want, because I don't want what I don't want. I want what I do want. And I will overcome. I will become. And I will help others. I will stay the course. No one can steal my dream. There's no way. No way can anyone steal my dream because I believe. Love you. God bless. Good night. See you later.